Good evening, everybody, and let us talk about the most classiest of topics, the fault. In this case, the well-traveled fault. <laughs> a few moments ago, I was walking by my wife, and I cracked a fault and another fault. Both of the faults in question raised a stink. Now, the fog followed me into the bedroom, where I could smell the fog. But from the living room, where my wife was seated, she could smell the fog, which means that the fog followed me into the bedroom, yet also remained in the living room, making them a series of well-traveled faults. Another time a fault was well-traveled was. I used to work at a JC Penny warehouse 20 some odd years ago. Back then I consumed a bit more beer than I do now and I farted. Well the fault fanned out to four different sections of the warehouse causing one of my co co-workers to nearly vomit and another one to say that is the worst thing he's ever smelled. So that's one fault affecting four different parts of a warehouse and two employees. Now this next fault is a hypothetical fault. Let's say that you are farting on a flight to Canada and you fart at the United States border but the fart continues into Canada that's an international fault. It spanned two countries. Now, I don't know if I've actually done a fault like that, but I have farted in the United States, Canada, and Jamaica. Now, that's not a lot compared to many other people who have been traveling around the world farting at will. But I have farted in three different countries. Another one you can do is, let's say you're on a different flight. You fought, but the fault lingers as you take off into the air. Now that's a well-traveled fault. If you release a long enough fault, it could be as much as 10,000 feet in the air. You could travel that much. That's a bit of a stretch. But remember, wherever you are, whoever you are, from, as they might say, the noblest peasant to the highest member of royalty, fought and fought proudly and fought loudly.